time for weather with Alan Rose, and we have a fairly cool weekend ahead, don't we? We do, we do, and welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, you had a great long holiday weekend. Now, Beth was here with me yesterday, but CJ enjoyed some yard work time. I'm all rested. Yeah. <laughs> but well, what's left of our yard? Yeah. There's not much. Right. Yeah, there's there's really much. That's true. I think many folks at home yeah. can empathize. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, let's take a live view in Ojai. Still seeing some green mixed with a lot of brown out there. Of course, our hills are very dry, bone dry because of lack of rainfall that we've seen really over the past three rainy seasons. A little bit of haze in the air in Santa Barbara. Today's temperature is down by a few degrees, but still above average in the downtown area. 81, your daytime high. The morning low, 65. The morning low average 59 and the average daytime high for this time of the year, right around 76 degrees. And tonight, still warmer than that average daytime high at 77. Look at Oxnard checking in at 69. We're seeing 79 in Ojai, down to 75 in San Inez with some cooler 60s now showing up on the map out across the central coast. Pretty stiff onshore breezes out there in most places, but nothing too exciting, and really we're not expecting much in the way of wind in the forecast, and that's a little bit of a relief given that we did see the elevated fire weather concerns with those sundowner winds in the Santa Barbara area just this past weekend. We are seeing the clouds and fog already beginning to move back inland across parts of the central coast. The cloud cover will expand into the south coast, into Ventura County and the valleys by tomorrow morning. I want to show you the bigger picture. Notice how quiet things are tonight. A few lone cells out there to the south southwest of Denver some rain out there to our south in Mexico but no rain out there firing up across the desert southwest the monsoon very quiet tonight this right here is our next tropical storm moving to the north tonight at about nine miles an hour it's a minimal storm the name is Norbert but this one as it moves up the coastline and strengthens a little bit could bring us some high surf as we head towards next week the models aren't showing it bringing us any moisture or rain chances but possibly some high surf because of the south swells maybe in about seven to ten days time back here a little bit closer to home this low is going to continue to slide inland across the northern tier now for us it's just going to shift high pressure farther to the east and that'll allow for temperatures to continue to cool all because of a stronger onshore flow the sea breeze is most common during the afternoon and evening hours and they usually die down by the morning we'll also notice a more pronounced marine layer with the clouds and fog maybe lingering a little bit later into the day than what we're used to. Tomorrow, with the cool down, temps into the 70s all across the south coast. Yeah, we'll see plenty of sunshine, but it might be gray and gloomy during the morning hours. That'll be a common trend we notice up and down the coast. 73 in Santa Maria, mid 70s and slow. Look at Paso, 105 on Saturday, about tomorrow into the mid 80s. Hump day forecast in Ojai, 87 degrees, with some 80s as well around Camarillo and Santa Paula. Variable winds on the channel, 10 to 15 knots. The swell coming in out of the west at 2 to 3 feet. Water temperature at 70 degrees and back on land in Santa Barbara. Mid 70s on Thursday, then back into the upper 70s Friday. Some 80s though by the weekend. Santa Maria, nice and mild with the cool down through Thursday. Friday into Saturday, we'll see things warm back up, but not a significant or sizable warm up. In San Luis Obispo, mid 70s, really a break from the warm stuff and slow through the next two to three days. And for Paso, hey, things are even changing in the valleys. In fact, they're down about 20 degrees from what we saw over the weekend, but that heat returns to the valleys as we head towards this upcoming weekend. Okay, and fall not so far away. Only a few so, weeks, yeah. yeah. Time is flying.